Welcome to the final cut, my friends. The show that never ends. So glad you could attend. I'm so excited today because I get to bring to you a review of a film that literally just came out of post-production. It hasn't yet hit the festival circuit, but it will. And I don't think it's even done its world premiere yet. Now, we're talking about the movie Rose White, which tells us the story of Lily, who perceives the world through this kind of dark but beautiful fantasy world where she lives in the forts with her sister. The harsh reality of it is, is her sister Rosalind has had to turn to prostitution in order to make ends meet just to pay the rent to live in the uh, kind of downtrodden apartment in the, not the best uh, neighborhood in the world. Well, when uh, they get a kind of an unlikely ally in the form of a drug dealer, local drug dealer, who comes up with a plot to overthrow a local crime boss, Rosalind sees the opportunity to uh, take to improve her life as well as Lily's and get out of the dire straits they're in, but also recognizing the fact that it's a risky move and it could actually be their downfall and doom. Folks, Rose White is proof that there is a cinema renaissance going on in independent film today. It is a, joining a long list of independent films I've seen that are proving you don't need a great budget to tell a great story. We get some fantastic performances in here by Erin Breen, who plays Rosalind. She, I mean, the movie's only a half hour long, but just in the time they have, you get to feel, you get to feel her, uh, her problems, you feel the weight that she is carrying, trying to, you know, just survive with her and her sister and take care of her sister. You feel that weight that comes across the screen. She does a beautiful job in conveying that, and I was really well done. I really enjoyed enjoyed Aaron's performance. And then you, on the other hand, you have Deneen Melody's performance as Lily. She's got this beautiful fantasy world that we get to see through Lily's eyes, and she plays that fantasy angle very well, that fanciful... I mean, we want to live in Lily's world. You, you can tell that she... We wish we could see it the way Lily does. Lily is kind of happy in her perceived world, and it, it definitely comes across as well. She does bring that kind of crazy feel to it, so... Excellent job there by Melody, uh, uh, Dina, uh, Deneen Melody as well. I apologize for the name. The uh, rest of the cast also does well with the supporting cast, though it is mostly the focus on the two sisters, which it should be. Like I said, you got a, a short film, so you don't have a whole lot of time to go into too much depth for the other characters. And in fact, that's about the only problem I had with Rose White, was that it was short. I wish it was longer. I wish they would have had the budget to make this a full-fledged feature film, because it deserves that this story and the characters they have in here, you want to know more. You would love to see them fleshed out more. But, of course, limited budget and time, they could only do so much. And But what they did was fantastic. And let's talk about the beautiful score that is throughout this film. Some independent films have to skimp on some things, say a soundtrack. You don't usually have a full soundtrack. This movie does, and the music's beautiful, and it fits everything that's going on, especially when you see the world through Lily's eyes, the fanciful parts the f fantastical parts of it, if you will. Uh, the score is great and definitely is just another component of the film and it definitely contributes to the overall feel of Rose White, which is, it's a film that is worth your time, folks. Rose White is a great short film. If you get to see that it's going to be on the roster of movies at a festival near you, go to that festival. If nothing else, just to see Rose White, but I guarantee you probably see some other fantastic independent cinema as well. Folks, independent cinema is where we're going to get our original content, and Rose White is one of a growing list of independent films that is proof of that. Schlollywood is failing us with their remakes and sequels, so we got to go somewhere, and independent cinema is definitely to the task task of bringing us great movies and uh, just interesting concepts and stories and proving you can do it without a huge mega budget. I look forward to seeing what the uh, the crew brings us next, those who were behind Rose White, which is uh, written and directed by Daniel Coleman and co-directed by Brian Kilborn. And the story was even conceived by Lily, the lady who plays Lily, uh, Deneen Melody. So, I mean, I look for more from these folks and look forward to seeing more from them. And here's to hopefully a prosperous career because they definitely deserve it, as well as many of 
of the other independent filmmakers out there, folks. Definitely support independent cinema, independent horror. You get a chance, go to India Go Go. I know, you know, you've heard me talk about it and back it before, but it's true because I am just surprised at the quality of content that is coming out from the independent film scene, and I think you will too. And that'll about do it for us here at the final cut. Till next time, keep that ticket.